According to the discussions you had today, what's the biggest challenge local to Egypt you've noticed? I think uh, that everybody we spoke to complained that hiring was a big challenge. Um, I think where the marketplace is today, I think everybody is quite risk averse. Um, so leaving a job to join a startup uh, seemed to be a recurring theme in the sessions that we had. Um, so I think that would be the one I would say. I think, you know, finding uh, top talent that would be willing to leave an existing job and join a you know, potentially high risk startup. Um, I think even some of the startups that were slightly more mature and had you know, traction, again, still finding it difficult to first identify that talent and then convince them to, uh, to join. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is not just finding talent or talented people, but being able to create teamwork within the group. So whether it's project planning, managing expectations, getting the buy-in from the team on upcoming roadmap challenges or business decisions, um, it's definitely come down to teamwork. I think what they missed a lot on are two, two, two elements that I kept seeing repeatedly. One was uh, uh, the luster of the story, the importance of telling the story and uh, connecting, the, the, you know, c connecting their issues and their problems and their challenges around that story, okay? And where, and, 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 and where they are in the journey you know, as part of the story. So which chapter are they in, more or less? So, and, and how do they want to end this? Uh, I think that there was a disconnect between sharing what they wanted to deliver for the audience sitting across that table, whether uh, other entrepreneurs or you know, other, other people across uh, from mentors or other experts. The, the second area is there was a lot of focus on um, you know, transactional issues, uh, uh, small issues. There wasn't, the big picture also was not, was not there. Uh, the strategy was not there. The, uh, and, and, and although I know people use strategy a lot and they have used it and use it, but, I'm, but I was really looking forward for them talking about what am I going to do differently to get me to where I want to be. And um, these were the two things that I walked away with and I felt that if, if, if there was more attention to them, they would have grabbed my attention and I think the attention of many others. Well, you know, I hear two challenges keep coming up from all the different companies that we were mentoring. One, I think the early stage investor ecosystem still needs a lot of experience. So how do I understand a startup? How do I value it? How do I work with entrepreneurs? I think there's a lot of challenges. So we really need more experienced entrepreneurs to get engaged with the ecosystem and invest and help grow those companies. Because I think the experienced entrepreneurs make the best early stage investors. Number two, I think customer acquisition. I keep hearing like, how do I go out and build my first audience? How do I, you know, I'm trying to build a two-sided market and how do I get one without the other? And so I think, um, you know, a lot of getting out there, understanding the customer, customer development, customer discovery is going to be really helpful for these young companies to understand what their customers need, understand the value they're creating, and then uh, grow their great businesses. Well, I've noticed a lot of the startups here today talking about, you know, going to the U.S. market, whereas I think more or less being from, from Europe, they should look to the MENA market and look to the fact that there's a massive home market here, especially in this country we're in right now, Egypt, it's about 90 million. So I think it's, uh, it's about conquering your own home market. And then once you've done that, let's, let's talk about the US and, and, uh, and Europe and, and other places, yeah? So biggest challenge for me.